You may know by now that I'm a bit of a thrift shopper. I know most of us are. It's just the thrill of the hunt and the glory you can find. Plus, we love the landfill thing, don't we? We love to be able to recycle fashion and uh, I think that's just going to uh, get more and more prevalent as the years progress. So today I thought I would take some of my recent thrifted items you may have already seen and style them two ways. So one a little bit more dressy and one a bit more casual or even a little bit edgy. And I'm starting off with this fabulous skirt. Shall we get into it? This is, I guess, more of a 50s sort of glam look, you know, maybe for the office. And these are a beautiful patent peep toe. Then I just have on a recent Zara belt, and this is new. This is the new sensational uh, PU coat, faux leather coat from Zara, but incredible, beautiful fabric. Love the trim on the sleeve here. Love the slip pocket, beautiful lining. Um, it's just a gorgeous shape. Just loving it. Uh, and I've gone very tonal. I've gone all creams and beiges, including this bag. And I put a crossbody bag on to sort of bring it in at the waist a little. And then underneath, I have this fabulous shirt. It's just from Shane, but it is gorgeous. It's satin. This harks back to the 70s. I love these shirts and it's just, was so delighted to see it. Uh, and I had to snap a little immediately. Alas, everyone else in the world felt the same way and all of the sizes were gone except large and extra large. So I had to get a large and you can see that it's really just too roomy. So I'm gonna just take it in along the sides and along the sleeves a little bit. And this also looks fantastic undone in that beautiful V, but again, it needs to be a bit tighter. Otherwise, see how it just bags? So if it was a bit tighter like that, see how good that would look. And I would probably, without that coat, I would probably have a different colour bag. So I would probably have something like this caramel one. And over the top, because we have a quasi 50s silhouette happening, I would probably throw over a fabulous chunky knit. And I would maybe do up the button here and have a caramel bag. Love that. Very, very retro. And if you wanted to go to evening, a little bit of faux fur. How gorgeous would that look? And the faux fur, of course, is echoed in the animal print. Love, love. All right, now for a casual look. A bit more of urban edge now with these fabulous boots. These are new from H&M and I've been looking for a lighter boot with dark uh, stretch here and on the sole and I was so happy to find them. They're so comfy as well. And here I've just gone with a crossbody bag just to give a little bit of shape, a really relaxed jersey blazer and double leopard. Then without, I just have a regular little white slogan tee on and it just gives a really nice line at the top here with or without the scarf. So that's a kind of cool look. And then different jackets with this would include denim and maybe something a little more boxy. So let's try that. So the more boxy jacket to give a really sort of cool look to go with the boots would be something like this bomber. And, uh, and I love the tones together here. And with this, I would probably have a lighter bag or a black bag, uh, maybe a bag the same tone as the shoes. So it's just a really nice look with the boot and because, because the boot is big and this has got some bulk as well. And then the pencil skirt is nice and slim. I think it's a nice counterbalance. But let's try the denim. Here is a lovely light denim, which is beautiful with this darker toned skirt. And I actually probably prefer it to a mid or dark denim. It would still look good, but I do think you need a little bit of brightness, unless you're really goth and edgy, you know, and cool. Then certainly you can wear black underneath and a darker denim jacket. But I quite like the lightness. It just lifts it, particularly because it reflects the boot. A little crossbody like that, just to make it really relaxed and casual and put your cool sunnies on as well. <laughs> This next thrifted item is a really recent find. It's gorgeous. It's a deep grey with a beautiful silver lurex thread through it. And it has these really glamorous buttons, but it doesn't mean we can't casual it up a bit. And I was dying to try the boots with this pleated skirt. And I really like it. I wasn't sure, but I think it's just kind of cool. And I've put on, actually I've left on that t-shirt that I had on before, but I've put on a brown belt and a brown bag. These are both Zara. 
and uh, yeah, and I'm actually surprised at how cool it looks, even though it's shimmery. There's a real refinement to the look, but it's still dressed down, it's casual, even though there's a bit of shimmer going on. This is why we can't be afraid to wear some shimmer. So in celebration of that shimmer, I've also put on these fabulous glasses with these diamantian pearl edges. So there you go. There's a more relaxed look. Let's dress it up a bit. I've got a fabulous piece to show you. Check this out, baby. <laughs> Don't hate, isn't it divine? Isn't it divine? Oh, I nearly passed out when I saw it. Okay, <laughs> this is a Valen. I think it's quite old. It's, uh, I don't know why, I just got a feeling it's quite old. It did have one button missing here, but there's one on the inside and I'm going to take that out and put it there. It's like the most amazing, almost metallic fabric. It's just got... It's, it's incredible, it's fully lined. It's a really luscious color. I really like the base color. Uh, it is really beautifully fitted. It has a self-tie belt, but of course you could change that up. The sleeve is perfection, perfect length, perfect width. It's just divine. Could not even believe my eyes. Uh, and so what I have done is I've double leoparded because this is quite a wintry look. Uh, I wanted to double leopard because, of course, I've kept that beautiful shimmery top underneath. Um, and although it looks nice, I think that it's just too bare here because I'm kind of rubbed up. So what I would do is I would actually wear this open, this coat, which I'll show you in a moment, so that you can see this beautiful uh, shimmer underneath. But I first wanted to just show you how slightly different tones of bag can make all the difference to an outfit. So I have several here. The first one is more of a beige, kind of ties in with the boot, and that gives a lovely bright lift to it. But if I go for something a little bit more casual and a little bit deeper in colour, you can see there again how that changes things. And I might actually just put that scarf back on. You can see how it changes things up. Just, just the slight variation in tone and also the style. And then lastly, I have a very warm shoulder bag. And you can again see how that really changes things up. I don't know which I like best. I'm thinking maybe this one because it's a little bit warmer. I'm actually not a um, you know, stalwart when it comes to combining different you know, metals and all that kind of thing. Same with the shape thing, you know, like the, you know, you have to have a certain shape of glasses to go with the shape of your face rubbish. I just think if they look good on you, you will feel good and um, wear what the hell you like, I say. Uh, yeah, so I think that's really lovely. And I've got a country road boot on, I've got a bare leg and this lovely flip little skirt underneath. Of course, a gorgeous black dress, black boots, and also even, a brown boot like this with this summery skirt would be really beautiful. Look at that. Do you see? I just love that. I think it's fabulous. And I'm thinking this is the right bag. Let me know what your choice is. Right, let me undo this. Now here it is undone and you can see I've actually French tucked the top because it just gives a much nicer line. So I've put a little glimmer of gold here, this Sarah belt. And it's just a lovely little glimmer as you walk. You could, of course, belt this at the back to open it and give a really nice line at the front. They're a really nice shape. And a crossbody bag would look lovely like that. And then you'll see how much nicer that neckline looks without being done up. It's just a little bit more, um, you know, we're talking autumn rather than winter. And then I think a crossbody over the top of this would be gorgeous. Like that. Yeah, and it just feels a little cooler, you know, not so rugged up. And then without this beautiful creation on, I just wanted to show you how different this looks, this top. I've got the sleeves down because I just think it gives a nice line with the shape. Um, so it's all about proportion, you know. But you can see that if I just wore this down like that, you know, I'm starting to get a little, a little bit old, a little bit dowdy and just tucking it in the front here. Can you see what a difference that makes in terms of the shape? And it just gives a whole new line. It's just beautiful. And I even like the line at the back here. 
So it's all about lines, it's all about shape, it's all about proportion. Next, this absolutely divine metallic skirt. I found at Salvo's a little while back, it was like 12 bucks. It's absolutely stunning. It uh, does have this rather large hole in it and that was my fault. <laughs> the iron, oops. But anyway, so I can't really wear it without anything long enough to cover that terrible burn. Uh, so I just wanted to let you know that my washing machine is on and I'm running out of light so we might have a bit of humming in the background. Okay, so because this colour is quite muted, I don't want to put something too bright with it. So I think white would just ruin this, a white t-shirt. So I do want to lighten things, so I've added a very lovely, very soft creamy top and I'm doing my old, or well, the old wrap trick. I'm just tucking it into the skirt and it just gives a really nice silhouette. You can see a really nice line, makes the waist look smaller. Or of course you could put a belt on. And also it's a great way, if you've got a skirt on or any kind of pants that are really thin and if you tuck it in, you can see it underneath, then this is the perfect way because all of that bulk from the top will go underneath the belt and you won't see it. And then I thought, I actually really love all these different tones together, all these muted tones. So just a really thin wool cardigan like this one will cover my burn patch. <laughs> I can't believe I burnt this, this beautiful skirt. And I would pull that up like that and I would have a little bit of a sandal. It's more of a casual sandal, of course. Yes, this is my version of casual. Uh, and yeah, and it hides that terrible patch and I'm just loving all of those colours together. With this particular look, I would probably go for a bag that's uh, a little bit 90s, you know, just a little shoulder bag. So that looks rather cute. Then I could try just a couple more jackets with it. So first of all, a lovely white linen jacket. Now this isn't going to cover the burn, so if you have a similar skirt that doesn't have a burn, lucky you. Uh, but I just really do like the brightness over the top. Um, it's actually not the pure white, it's more of a really off-white creamy colour, this jacket. And I just think it works really well with all of these colours without being too saturated. I would probably put a little bit of a tan colour just to tie things in together and take away the brightness of the jacket. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that washing machine, but I've got kids coming home soon and I've got to get this done. I rarely get time to film at the moment, so uh, yeah, I really apologise. Anyway, I have two different styles of jacket here. So I have a deep indigo denim. This is a really, really old Esprit. You know, I've had it for maybe, oh God, I don't know, at least 25 years, probably more. And then this is a seed, but it's actually not really denim, it's more of a drill cotton and it's just a lovely deep navy. So I wanted to try both and just see the difference. I also wanted to mention I love the reflection of the ruffle of the collar in the skirt as well. So I just wanted to try with a lovely deep navy and I would probably put, yeah, probably a tan bag with this, I think goes really nicely. And then with the denim, let's try that. Okay, with the darker denim, rolling up the sleeve for more of a summery look and definitely this lovely tan bag over the top. See how those colours just look beautiful together? They're muted uh, and they just balance out beautifully and then of course the simple heel that almost disappears. There you go, let's try a little bit more of a glam dressed up look. <laughs> 